Okay, uh, so in this video we're going to be making uh, webbing for the tanks. So here I've got a pre-built uh, basilisk from Games Workshop with a fudged heavy bolter on the front because it comes with a heavy flamer. So I kind of just bash two bolters together. It looks ugly right now. Uh, let's try and get it out of the shadow of that. Um, there you go. Uh, it'll look better once the webbing's on there because I'm going to hide most of it. Um, so, very simple. You will need PVA, not stolen from school, but from Hobbycraft. Tupperware, and I've mixed some PVA with water to about this kind of consistency. And we got here some medical gauze. This stuff's cheap as chips. I just grabbed it off eBay. And what I've done is cut it up into little chunks, about yay big. You know, two inches by four inches or something. It gets a lot smaller once you wet it and stuff. What I'm going to do then is grab a piece, chuck it in the goop. Fun times. Bleh. And squeeze most of it off. I'm going to have to put the camera down in a moment. I'm going to start building this up around the, uh, the gun emplacement. So back in a moment. Okay, so I think I may have gone a little overboard. We've put a little bit of webbing on the back. I figured a bit of camo or something. Plus, when I'd glued it, they were at a bit of a dodgy angle. Um, I'd always intended on putting the main bit of webbing on this bit, but um, yeah, I think I might have, and, and a little bit of webbing over the gun. I feel like I may have gone a bit overboard and uh, while well, it's still wet. Might decide to take either this bit off the gun or this bit off here and just keep the bit under there like that. I'm not really sure. Either way, when I decide what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let that cure and dry. Uh, just give it like 24 hours or something and then I'll come to spraying it. So, decided that I didn't actually like how I'd done it before, so removed the camo, shaped it a bit more around the hatch because they'd be wanting to get out of there perhaps and uh, spiralled it round the the, uh, the weapon barrel a bit more just kind of cleaned it up a bit or on the uh, whatever this part of the tank blast guard bit is called so yeah leave it to dry spray time so ready to spray got the basilisk and a commissar yarrick and basically big can of zandri dust from games workshop just going to coat the whole thing. I generally don't pre-spray it a different colour. If I want to uh, spray it in a colour, I just put the colour straight on, to be honest. Uh, I want a nice good coating. Uh, so you do have to spray it pretty well on the, the webbing bit. And we'll see what it looks like in a minute. So this is very basic. It's been sprayed tan. I've put a base coat of silver on the Earthshaker cannon, on the back, on the grill, and on the tank tracks. Picked out little bits of gold. And I'm now going to wash it with Army Paint a Strong Tone. Uh, the whole thing, this is it's going to use quite a substantial amount of it, to be honest. Um, yeah, so that's the next step. Okay, so uh, wash is dried. Need to snip that bit, neaten that up a bit. Uh, you can see it's gone nicely in all the recesses and dirted everything up. Literally just poured it on everything. Uh, so now the task is a dry brush. So I'm going 50-50. Uh, Zandri dust and Shabti bone and I'm going to dry brush it 50-50 and then just start working it until I get to a pure uh, Shabti bone dry brush okay so dry brushing is done uh, you can see it's just obviously highlighted it, it's nothing too special but just brings it out a bit better um, the next step then is to weather it so I mean the, the dirt from the uh, from the wash earlier uh, the strong tone that's already left quite enough grime on it so first things first is i'm going to use rhinox hide and i'm going to use a sponge so when you buy the movement trays you get these little blocks of sponge that you have to pluck out always keep them to one side uh get a bit of rhinox hide on dab it off kind of like you're dry brushing and we're just going to stipple the edges basically put some rust on the edges where it collect uh and then over that but a little less i'm going to go with some silver um Again, I've got P3s, uh, whatever bolt gun metal is really. Um, and that's going to be this step. When that's done and dry, uh, I've got this AK interactive range, which is really, really good. Uh, the first one is streaking grime. So you paint that down the side um, of your tank. 
and then use white spirit to thin it out and it gets some really nice dirty streaks down the side of it and lastly uh, some rust streaks from like the bolts and stuff so we'll get to that I want to sponge the Rhinox on and the silver on first okay so you can see we just put little patches of, of rust along the rims and such bits where it would scratch and such don't have to be anything too powerful I uh, don't overpower it the lighting's not fantastic here, just trying to catch it. On the back. So next up is, I'm going to paint the streak. So I'll take a video after I've painted the original streak and grime on, uh, and then I'll do a video after we've streaked it with the white spirit. Okay, so looking fairly unattractive at the moment with just these big dirty grease lines down it, and not very finesse either. Um, however, this is where we start using the white spirit now. So same brush. Uh, just dip it in white spirit and start feathering it around a bit, trying to make it streaky and grimy. Um, I've got to hold the camera with one hand, so I'm going to have to do a video of it first. So I might do half of one side, and I'll take another video. Okay, so as you can see, uh, kind of feathered it a bit. Still going to work on the, that this line here, which is a, a bit too thick still. Uh, you can always build up more layers if you like, but yeah, just feather it down, play around with it. Okay, so that side's weathered, feathered, and looking all right on the other side too. I'm just going to let it dry, and then what I'll do is I'll use the AK Interactive Rust Streaks uh, Rusty Wash Effect. I'm going to put some on this bit here, and just that would be a bit knackered and crappy. Uh, and I just select some rivets really, put a dab on, and then using the um, the white spirit, you just sort of drag it down again. So we'll see what that looks like next. Okay, so uh, this side it doesn't really show up well. There's the odd, the odd little rust bit. Uh, I feel like it shows better on the other side. Mm, so I see the odd little streaks uh, with it in. Still a bit wet, so uh, the shine that'll hopefully dry off a bit. But yeah, pretty happy with that. Nice and quick, it's not took too long. Less than a couple of hours anyway for one model. I can live with that. 